Hi, I'm Seamus Roddy, Content Marketing Manager at Elastic Path, here today with Francisco Campos, Chief Operations Officer at Onport. We're excited to chat today uh, about how Elastic Path and Onport work together, specifically with one of our joint customers, Mavi. Uh, Francisco, really, really excited to be joined by you today. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, can you start off by introducing yourself? telling us about your role and what your day-to-day -day at Onport looks like? Absolutely. Yeah, thank you, Seamus and Elastic Path uh, team for uh, for the invite. So I'm Francisco Campos. Uh, I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Onport. I essentially oversee our go-to-market uh, strategy and help lead on its, uh, on its execution. Day-to-day, um, -day, that means uh, uh, connecting with the marketing and sales teams and also the success teams and making sure that we're establishing our presence out there in the market, that the market understands who we are and what we're trying to accomplish in uh, in the industry, and then making sure that uh, every customer is uh, super satisfied with the experience that we provide them. Wonderful. Thanks. Thanks for that context. Uh, can you can you dive in a little bit more about what exactly Onport does? You know, we know it's a multi vendor marketplace solution, but what does that mean and how does it help brands? Yeah, absolutely. So I think start with with the why. Uh, we, we exist. Uh, we exist because uh, we're seeing that uh, marketplaces are becoming uh, the dominant force in uh, the e-commerce landscape. So uh, consumers are preferring to buy on marketplaces um, more often than on uh, direct-to-consumer brands. I believe it's because it really helps uh, with the discovery experience of uh, new products um, and uh, making sure that you get to see the breadth of the offering that exists in a given in a given category. And also it comes with a lot of, with a lot of convenience as well, uh, being able to buy uh, multiple products from the same website rather than having them to buy uh, separately, uh, I think is why uh, marketplaces are, are growing uh, at an even faster pace than uh, e-commerce uh, as a whole. Um, and we're here to help uh, provide uh, technology uh, for that. So um, we, we have a focus more on curated marketplaces. This means that um, there are only so many Amazons uh, that can uh, exist and and um, and operate in in the world. But what we're seeing is uh, a large number of uh, companies. Some are new launching marketplaces. Some are existing retailers turning themselves into into marketplaces. They're focusing on certain uh, product uh, cat categories or uh, customer niches uh, and building a really strong. Uh, marketplace e-commerce experience uh, around that product category or or customer audience. Um, we're seeing this with the retailers as well. Uh, retailers like Macy's, Home Depot's, uh, they're no longer just uh, pure retailers. They're uh, becoming marketplace uh, themselves because this allows them to test the new product categories uh, with their existing uh, audience and also to attract the new audience uh, to their uh, to their website and. With the marketplace business model, uh, they're able to do this with zero uh, inventory risk because the items are being fulfilled directly from the vendors to the end to the end consumer, and again be able to attract uh, these uh, new customer audiences that were untouched uh, untouched before. Um, so this is a little bit about the why and and then why us right and and why and why we exist. Um, we deliver uh, the technology that's required for a marketplace to operate, right? So um, the typical e-commerce uh, experience, like you can build a fantastic e-commerce experience with uh, Elastic Path um, and uh, make sure uh, that clients are uh, highly converting, highly engaging uh, with uh, the e-commerce experience. Um, the, the marketplace business model comes with the challenge of uh, having a relationship with all of the vendors that are supplying for the marketplace. So you no longer have all of your stocks sitting in, in one or a couple, a couple of warehouses. You now need to manage this distributed network of vendors that have the supply that are is being made available on, on, on the website. So we focus on the technology piece that connects this front end e-commerce experience with all of the vendors that are supplying for that for that marketplace. So a few product pillars would be inventory syncing, uh, making sure that inventory levels are, are uh, always updated from uh, this network of, of vendors. 
um, product catalog, uh, publishing and curation, right? So uh, the, the marketplace needs to know what product catalog is available uh, from uh, all of these vendors and make sure that it's uh, curated into their uh, beautiful e-commerce experience for, uh, for the end customer. Um, order routing is a really a really important one. Uh, make sure that uh, the right order gets to the right vendor, or if there are more than one vendor supplying for the same product, as you'll often find in, in Amazon, make sure that you have both a great customer experience uh, for that, but also a great uh, uh, allocation engine to make sure that the right vendor, the one that's going to provide the best customer experience is the one that's going to fulfill uh, on that on that order. Um, payment automation is a big is a big topic. So this is no longer about just capturing customer uh, funds. It's about capturing them, but also disbursing them to the vendors that are involved in the in the transaction. While typically the marketplace retains uh, a commission on those on those sales. So um, payment flows uh, become increasingly more complex as marketplaces uh, scale, and it's really important to find uh, those automations uh, so that they don't rely on on manual work. Very similarly, uh, shipping. So logistics is again not fulfillment from a single warehouse, but fulfillment from dozens, hundreds of uh, different uh, stock points. Those being your 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 vendors, and sometimes they in turn have more than one uh, stock point where they would like to fulfill from for your marketplace. So coordinating logistics uh, and giving the customer full visibility of the carrier, the tracking, uh, where the items are at any any point uh, is is complex, and that's why we're we're helping uh, to build technology to to solve for these complex workflows. So in essence, we're uh, the, the as you as you said, uh, Seamus, we're multi-vendor uh, back office uh, for for marketplaces. So we really like to couple ourselves with uh, best of breed uh, front end uh, e-commerce players uh, like like Elastic Path, and we feel like we're really a pillar for a marketplace to be able to scale and have uh, automation driving all of this business logic uh, that is required uh, for uh, marketplaces to to operate and. A few years back or, or, or many years back, all of this technology had to be built in-house. There was no, no way around it. Uh, so obviously Amazon and the largest marketplaces in the world, they all build all their technology uh, in-house. But as marketplaces are becoming uh, more and more the business model uh, that consumers uh, prefer and businesses are adapting that business model, uh, we feel like it's really important to be able to offer all of this technology packaged as a service uh, out out to the market, and that's uh, that's what we're trying to do as as Onport. Yeah, really, really thorough, thorough, detailed, strong answer there. So thank you for providing that context. Um, you know that that technology is really exciting, and we hear from brands about how excited they are to use and integrate with Onport. Want to hear how does Onport integrate with Elastic Path specifically for brands who use Elastic Path composable commerce as their as their commerce engine or overall commerce solution? Yeah, absolutely. So our our partnership goes a few a few years back uh, already, which is which is really interesting because it was in in I would say the early stages of talking about composable uh, commerce, composable uh, technology, and also headless uh, solutions. And it's one that we identified ourselves uh, uh, with uh, very, very early on, because um, we have these different modules uh, that accomplish different things for marketplaces. And the marketplace is a very nuanced business model. Like one marketplace will operate completely different from another marketplace from a business logic standpoint. So we knew that we had to adopt uh, principles that were flexible, that put control in the hands of our, of our customers because we simply could not build every variation uh, of, of what the business logic could look like. So uh, we wanted to build, of course, a really strong uh, infrastructure uh, but then allow customers to build on top of it, right? So uh, we really believe that for you to be a full-fledged marketplace, you need to also be a technology company. You cannot uh, steer uh, steer away from that. Um, and that's why we're getting customers that are uh, more and more eager to develop technology on top of our existing uh, technology. So when we were um, talking about like who do we want to partner with? Who do we want to uh, integrate with on the front end? Because 
these these two solutions need to be uh, coupled together uh, to deliver the ultimate goal of uh, a full fledged running a running marketplace. We were looking for similar minded partners in the space. Um, that's when we come across uh, Elastic Path. That's when we start having the first few uh, partnership uh, conversations and. Um, it was amazing to find a partner that's uh, so uh, like-minded in terms of how we want to develop uh, technology. So um, there are uh, a lot of e-commerce solutions that are maturing and are growing in the market, but they're a very package. They want to offer everything in their box. Uh, and what we felt with Elastic Path is, is that they really understood, or you really understood, uh, that uh, the market was going to be much more demanding than just that, than you being able to offer uh, everything uh, out of the box. And that composability and allowing customers to first pick and choose what they want to use, but then develop technology uh, on top was going to be really crucial uh, for, for the market. So um, we knew that we would uh, be talking to like-minded customers that have the same vision of, of the market, of composability, of building technology uh, on top. So um, I really believe like we're, our, our platforms are a great, a great fit for, uh, for each other. And from a more um, technical standpoint, what that implies is, of course, Elastic Path is the, the, the end customer facing um, interface uh, that customers will interact with and, and, and buy from. Um, and once, uh, once, once they're buying, it's on port that's capturing all of the orders to help route those orders to the vendors so that the vendors become aware they have orders to fulfill. They fulfill them and we sync back these uh, fulfillment statuses or uh, logistics uh, tracking information back to Elastic Path so it can do its great work of uh, helping those brands uh, communicate with the customers on where their items are in their, in their buying journey. Um, another really big important uh, aspect of this is again, product, uh, product catalog. Um, we are able to retrieve, uh, let's call it raw product catalog information from uh, all of the vendors. Uh, so vendors can either integrate their own e-commerce store. So we obtain that product catalog and we sync, when we sync uh, stock uh, as well. Um, they can also uh, do it via FTP, API, CSV, but then it's up to us to uh, package that product catalog information and push it to Elastic Path for it to be displayed uh, on, on, on the front end. So uh, this is uh, one of the most important uh, aspects of our technical integration is be able to do the, the, the product catalog uh, publishing. And then um, we have some logic that's more geared towards uh, marketplace and Elastic Path will have some product catalog logic that's more geared towards, uh, towards the end customer. So we're thinking about what regions can the supply come from and Elastic Path is thinking about in what regions are we, we going to display this, this catalog and have the right currency and the right uh, customer experience to display this, uh, this catalog. So I really feel like it's a, it's a brilliant combination of two, two great platforms. Yeah, we feel the same way. And you know, a phrase you used there that we really love is customer experience. Um, and that you know, our partnership is really about delivering an exceptional customer and an end customer experience and really enabling brands, uh, you know, you know, and, and enabling businesses to offer that kind of experience. Um, on that topic, there's one brand that 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 does partner with Onport Mavi, uh, which is a wellness platform offered by employers to employees. How did Onport's relationship with Mavi begin? Yeah. Absolutely. So Mavi is a really, a really interesting customer. They have a really interesting uh, business and it's a story that we're hearing more and more often. It's not about, I want to launch a marketplace. It's much broader than that. And a marketplace is a part of it, right? So as you said, they're, they're a wellness uh, platform and a marketplace is one of the offerings for that wellness, uh, wellness platform. So um, they were obviously looking for a marketplace uh, solution that would help them uh, automate a lot of the workflows that we've just uh, discussed. Um, and once we started engaging with them and we started hearing uh, the different complexities of what they want to achieve uh, by not just being a pure a pure marketplace uh, business model, and maybe it's not just a pure uh, e-commerce front end uh, experience. It's actually something that needs to integrate uh, with the rest of the uh, wellness platform uh, vision. 
um, we we knew that they weren't going to be uh, satisfied with an out of the box uh, e-commerce uh, player on on the front end, and that's why we we recommended uh, Elastic Path uh, to to work alongside us. So. Um, they also have uh, the vision uh, that they really needed a robust technology architecture uh, to be able to achieve this complex uh, use case. So uh, they knew that they weren't going to find a, a one-size-fits-all solution uh, for uh, the complexities that they wanted to deliver uh, to make sure that delivering the most value to their uh, to their end customers. So. Um, it was really important for them uh, as well uh, to to find partners in the space uh, that were technology savvy, technology driven, and that uh, allowed them for a really uh, um, curated customization of the experience that they wanted to offer to their uh, to their end customers. So um, that's why we recommended Elastic Path to work uh, alongside us, uh, and that's um, I think probably the main reason why together we're finding success with this um, with this customer. Um, particularly for their marketplace uh, business model, they were looking to uh, onboard uh, hundreds of vendors and they and they have uh, since. So uh, they, they were looking to operate a marketplace uh, at, 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 uh, at some scale. Um, they have uh, the complexity of uh, wanting to go live uh, in a short period of time. So they had this uh, ambitious goal of going live in, in 90 days. And um, and even, even, even with that, like as much as out of the box uh, solutions can help one be, be quick, uh, it's not something that you miss out by going uh, to solutions that allow you to, to customize because what you don't want is to hit your head on a limitation and then not being able to launch because you've hit your head on a limitation. So um, that's why uh, technology first companies uh, allow for, for customers to develop uh, on top and make sure that they're, uh, even if there's, if that's their MVP use case, it's uh, contemplated and, and they're able to launch a product that they're fully satisfied uh, with. So um it was really important for them to launch uh, to launch quickly and then to be able to iterate uh, on top of that of that launch and uh, we're super happy that they achieved that uh, with um, with us um i would say besides that um it really helped that we had a great working relationship right so um I, it felt really natural and and mature for for Mavi uh, to be working with these two partners because these two partners work really well together so it's not like the customer is having to bridge uh, these two partners and take the pain points from one from one to the other we 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 work as a really strong uh, cohesive uh, team and i think that builds a lot of trust with uh, with with the clients and uh, it really helps them uh, achieve uh, their goals as as soon as possible yeah, um, absolutely agreed, and and it's 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 just so interesting having having had these conversations with Mavi to them really hitting on not just did we need this really unique experience, not just do we have a unique model, but we had to get up fast, um, you know, ninety days or less, and you know, I know I know you touched on it and spoke to it some, but want to hear even more both sort of technically and then also in terms of how our teams work together. Um, what made that quick, less than 90 days implementation possible? You know, what are specific things you would point to that it was Elastic Path and Onboard were able to work together to really make this possible for Mavi? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think one of one thing that's really important is the established relationship. Right, so if you're if you're going out to completely new partners uh, that haven't interacted with each other uh, in the past, I, I I really feel that will impact the timeline strongly, because first there would need to be a business decision of integrating the two platforms, right? And 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 luckily we already had uh, two very well uh, integrated uh, platforms, so it was nothing new uh, for 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 both parties to work together to understand the technology that's required to support uh, to support customers um, to leverage this integrations hub concept from from Elastic Path uh, to make sure that all of the connections are are in place and are seamless uh, and are, are are going to happen uh, as as they are as they are required. 
um, and us even having the supporting documentation uh, for that. So um, again, I think the the pre-existing uh, partnership and established and mature partnership is one of the main reasons why they were able to launch in less than uh, less than ninety days. Um, there's a lot to be said about the Mavi team uh, themselves. Uh, they're really hyper uh, hyper focused uh, as a team. They knew what they what they wanted. Uh, they weren't coming into the the marketplace space uh, asking or or learning about the business model as as they as they were going. They knew exactly what they wanted to deliver uh, out out to customers, and they were hyper focused on getting that uh, pushed uh, pushed through. So they knew what they expected of us. They knew what they expected of of Elastic Path. They were great at communicating that to both uh, to both companies. So, um, but I I always think that what leads to best results are great companies combined with great customers right it's not just one uh, one of the other uh, it really needs to be uh, a combination uh, combination of both um i would say that and and the um, the understanding that mavi already had of the market right they understood composability they understood uh, mock principles uh, they 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 understood um, why they needed to be a technology first uh, company uh, to make sure that they're delivering the right experience to uh, to their customers. Um, so them having that understanding and having teams that are aligned with that uh, understanding uh, made it uh, much easier for, for those teams to come in, ask the right questions, do the right work, demand the right things and, and get uh, and get the end product delivered on time. Yeah, love that. Love that comment you had that Mobby really knew what they wanted, um, and sort of had a sense of what it would take to get there. Um, Want to dive in a little more specifically? Other other than going live fast, what sort of specific tangible benefits is Mobby enjoying by using Onboard? Absolutely. I mean, getting getting live is really only the first step, right? The the everything comes comes after going live making sure that you're running a, a, a smooth scalable operation is uh, absolutely why we why we exist um and they're benefiting from being able to onboard new brands seamlessly right so uh, they obviously started with their uh, first selection of brands but they wanted to scale their marketplace uh, offering make it more strong to the to the to the end consumer so they have since uh, onboarded uh, hundreds of vendors um and to onboard vendors it's it's not just a commercial um conversation it needs to be easy for the vendor for you to convince them. And, and easy means technology. It means uh, I don't have to go and manually update uh, stocks. I don't have to uh, see my orders in uh, a different system than the one they already uh, that I already use. Uh, I want these payouts to be, to be automated. Um, we make it seamless through the technology. Um, so uh, Mavi has since onboarded with uh, hundreds of vendors and it's seamless for them to supply for Mavi's marketplace. Because if it was hard, and that's the challenge of being a marketplace, you need to make uh, a great customer experience and a great vendor uh, experience. So if it was hard for vendors and there was no return on their investment, it, they wouldn't be there. Um, so with with the technology that we're uh, helping uh, offer Mavi, uh, it makes it really seamless uh, for them to to onboard those vendors again from from an order um, an order integration an inventory uh, update uh, a price management uh, standpoints uh, it makes it really seamless for for both parties uh, to work uh, to work together and then from a stability standpoint right so vendors are are not experiencing any any downtime customers are not experiencing uh, any downtime so making sure that you have uh, a, a solid infrastructure and a solid technology foundation uh, to make sure that your uh, uptimes are, are the best are best in class. And again, that can only be achieved by the combination of, of, of our two businesses. Yeah, well said and really mirrors what we hear from the Mavi folks too about the benefits that they're experiencing um, and what they're so excited about. Uh, What's really exciting for us is that for about the past year, we've been offering an instant on integration with Onport um, as a part of our integration sub, which you mentioned on, on Elastic Path Composer. Um, 
that instant on integration, you know, no code, really easy. What what sort of benefits does it offer for not just Mavi, but for other brands, you know, who who are using Elastic Path and want to get on port or really want to use on port and, you know, are looking for kind of an overall composable solution provider and are coming to Elastic Path? What is what is that instant on integration really enable in your eyes? Yeah, absolutely. I think it it really helps bring to fruition uh, the concept of of composability. Like for me, for you to be able to compose is to be able to pick and choose uh, best of breed systems uh, that are um, more tailored towards what you want uh, as a business. Again, either on on the customer uh, experience uh, or in our case on on the vendor experience uh, as well. You need to have a vision for what you want to achieve and what you want uh, to deliver. And in order to do that, you should be able to pick and choose the systems that best represents uh, that vision uh, for for what you have. Um, of course, both both our businesses are very API first, API geared, and uh, allowed to connect with uh, other uh, like-minded uh, API first uh, companies. But actually, we've already uh, strengthened this, right? So it's not something that you need to do from scratch. You don't need to uh, be looking at API documentations from both companies, try to understand if they're a good fit, if they can interact uh, together. We're actually together vouching for this, right? Like we already have uh, many joint successful uh, customers. Uh, the technical integration is, is already in place. So um, as much as we love uh, opening up our APIs uh, for the world uh, to use, it's great that we've already uh, entrenched uh, ourselves um, in in this uh, in in offering uh, a combined technology offering to to end customers that they can come in and uh, uh, start using from day one and go live and launch a, a sophisticated marketplace in less in less than than ninety days. So uh, I think that's uh, really one of the or the main benefits uh, from uh, our our combined integration. Yeah, it's a special integration and really unlocks special and unique capabilities for a for a brand like Mavi. Going less than 90 days, harnessing, harnessing the power of onport the way that they do. It's it's exciting and uh look forward to checking in with you next year and years after to hear not just about Mavi, but other customers that are really using using on port and using that instant on integration to find success uh if i could if i could add Seamus, it's yeah. um it won't stop here right so yeah. we keep we keep developing technology elastic path keeps developing uh technology but we're not just sitting and waiting for a customer to ask for something we're engaging uh with uh, with uh, with each other learning more about uh, the technology that's being offered and strengthening our integration as time as time passes so um we're we're um leveraging uh, each other's uh, growth and new product features and making sure that we stay uh, uh updated uh with uh, with each other's technology and that we strengthen that integration as time passes yeah, absolutely. Well said. Uh, look forward to strengthening our relationship and strengthening the commerce offerings of, of a lot of brands in years to come. Um, thank you again, Francisco, for, for joining us today. Um, anyone who has any questions about how Elastic Path and Onport works together um, or about Onport's business, uh, please, please get in touch. Francisco is a fountain of information and insight so thank you so much thank you thank you Seamus. Seamus. thank you elastic path team you've been an amazing uh, partner and we look forward for uh, a bright future ahead absolutely all right thank you